Are you a podcaster looking for the easiest way to create video with your guests? Or perhaps a student looking to do live video for morning announcements in your school district? In this episode of EdTech in the Classroom, we're going to take you through an amazing application called StreamYard. Stick around. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to EdTech in the Classroom. My name is Jeff Bradbury from the TeacherCast Educational Network, and today I am thrilled to be introducing you to an application I've been using for the last, oh, year or so called StreamYard. StreamYard is a free application with a paid upgrade that will allow you to do live broadcasting, record to tape, and stream out to any of your favorite social media applications. If you like this video, please do me a favor, take a moment, hit that subscribe button because you're not going to want to miss what's happening later on this week. We're going to be bringing you guys our part two to this episode, a fully deep dive article of how you guys can get your school districts onto live morning announcement broadcasts, something we started doing in my school district last year, and I'm finally able to share it with you. I am looking forward to it, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And right now, let's just jump into it. This is StreamYard. So here we are in StreamYard. This is the dashboard where everything happens. In the middle here, you've got a tab for the upcoming broadcast where you can see everything you're going to be working on. And then also your past broadcast, which is all of the shows that you've already finished. The nice thing about StreamYard is you can always go back into past broadcasts. And depending on what account you have, you can enter the studio, invite guests, delete, download recordings, lots of different options here. Plus, if you've already streamed out to these different locations, you have direct links to where those uh, videos are on those social media destinations. Down here, you can see I've got my destinations already set up. I can, of course, add, and you can see I've got my Facebook, my LinkedIn, my YouTube channels, my Periscope, everything is here. And that way, when we go live, you can uh, choose which destinations you want. Over here under the account tabs, we've got our broadcast, referrals, billing, settings, contact, a variety of different things to help us. What we're going to do now is we're going to set up an upcoming broadcast. I'm going to click on create. You'll notice I've got all of my uh, various social media platforms. Not going to worry about that right now, but we're going to say my stream yard demo. I'm going to create a broadcast. And so here we are on our microphone screen. You can see I'm all set up. I've got my microphone on, but I can, of course, choose to enter the studio muted. I can stop my camera. I can change my display name or over here. I can update any of the camera settings. I've got some advanced. If you're on the paid platform, you do get up to uh, 1080. I believe the regular platform is at 720. You can, of course, change your audio and you've got green screen effects. That is pretty awesome. So if you have a green screen, you can certainly put that in action. I'm going to enter the broadcasting studio by clicking on the blue button. And here you can see is our StreamYard uh, dashboard area here. I'm in my broadcasting studio. Down here, I have my little person. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add to stream. So here I am. And I've got a variety of different preset areas. Uh, let's see. If I click over here on share screen and go to application window, uh, let's see if I can do this. I'll click here to share. Um, you can see that I'm actually broadcasting in my broadcast. That's how we're getting this. But if I want, I can click on any of these. If I did have a guest, I can see a two shot here. I can see a two shot with the little boxes, uh, different shots here. Or over here, I've got myself with a little box. Or over here, I've got a little myself with a big box. Or I can go completely... Uh, you know, stable in here. How do I bring on somebody else? Over here, I've got an invite button or I can copy this to the clipboard. I can email it. I can send it in Messenger or I can just copy this and send it to somebody. That's usually my preferred method is just sending an email with this link. Over here, I've got a variety of, of options here. You can see I've got comments. These are comments that are going to be coming in from the outside world, rather it be from Facebook or from YouTube. And you do have the option, as we've seen on previous videos, of bringing up up those different um, uh, comments and putting them on the bottom. Also here, we've got banners. You'll notice if I hit show, uh, we can do a streaming banner here if we want. Or if I create a banner, I can hit uh, add here. And then if I click on that, it pops it up here. Obviously, I have a little bit of a spelling mistake to go. Next thing I do is a brand over here. I can choose my different brand colors. I can choose my theme. Uh, you'll notice over here. 
Let's see. If I want, I can have minimal. Or there we go. All right. I do have a bunch of overlays. I can throw a bunch of things up here. I can have uh, a lot, actually. Uh, different options you can see. I can always upload a new overlay. Uh, when I do that, I do everything through Canva. That's certainly a possibility. Now, the next option down here are the video clips. You're going to notice right here, I've got a pre-made one. That is basically a 30 second countdown, but you can always add more video clips. And we're going to talk a little bit about how to do that in a separate video later on this week. So again, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Um, if I come over here, you notice I've got a blue background. Let me do that instead. I have an option of changing my background. Now uh, you've got a leaves. This is the default, but you can always add more. So I've got my teacher cast branded ones here. Uh, you can do that. You can also show the names on or off. That's always a possibility. Now I did notice that over over here we've got multiple brands so i've got a variety of different ones this one's for school this one's for a non-educational one that i do and i've got my teacher cast my ask the tech coach and it's very easy to create a new brand you just basically add your name and you go from there your private chat is basically between you and your guests this doesn't show up on your uh, screen it's all done where it needs to be. And then lastly, of course, we have our settings where we can change our camera, our general settings, audio, green screen. Uh, guest viewers can see comments. I like that. Have that one on. Play guest when, uh, play a sound when guests enter. That's interesting. And then also guest must authenticate. So uh, we got a lot of different options here, but you can see StreamYard is fairly easy. When I'm done, I'm going to hit the record button. It automatically goes to stream and wherever I have. Or if I click on the edit button, I can always adjust or add these settings too. So for instance, if I click over here on YouTube, I can add a title, description, privacy, schedule for later. And of course, if I do, I've got my thumbnail. You've got a lot of different options here. Same thing on Periscope, same thing on Facebook. I've got a lot of different options. So so as you can see, StreamYard is simply one of the best applications for creating live broadcasts, bringing guests on, collaborating with others. And yes, I'm even recording this using StreamYard. So if you like this episode, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Click on that bell because later on this week, we're going to be doing a complete deep dive of how we use StreamYard in our school district to create live morning announcements. We're going to take you through the entire scope of creating videos, creating graphics, creating a script, and we're going to give you guys the tools you need to do just that in your school district. So on behalf of everybody here in the TeacherCast Educational Network, my name is Jeff Bradbury, reminding you guys to keep up the great work in your classrooms and continue sharing your passions with your students hey guys jeff here if you like this video once again don't forget to hit that subscribe button hit that bell button smash anything that you want on the screen and please leave a comment below we would love to have you guys check everything out today right here on the teacher cast educational network